<laughs> yeah, hanging out in the break room, 96.5 WCMF. We are live from Buffalo Bills training camp. And hanging out with us right now in the Stoneyard Brewery Company hot seat, Buffalo Bills linebacker, Lorenzo Alexander. How's it going, Lorenzo? I'm doing great. Oh, can we get up? We got to get the mic on here. Oh. Oh, you there, bud? There, there we go. All there right, we go. Yeah, beautiful. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doing great this morning. I'm just trying to figure out why I didn't get a coffee. I mean, everybody <laughs> else is go. Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks around <laughs> here. I mean, I like coffee, too. I feel really bad about it now. <laughs> well, uh, can we, you want to head to mine? That should be one of the perks of being on the show this early in the morning. Yeah, I mean, we can find you. We have some in the trailer. No, it's all good. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just messing around. <laughs> now, Lorenzo, uh, we're going to get to this whole college and unionize and Ken Coulter in just about 15 minutes. But, Lorenzo, right. I've been really excited to talk to you because, as far as I'm concerned, you are the most interesting man in the world. Okay. <laughs> like, there was nothing that you have did. That you've done everything. Pretty mm-hmm. much besides play quarterback. You got it. So, they, his nickname, Tommy, yeah. the one-man gang. Okay. Because you have played in this league, in the NFL, right. how many positions? Uh, about eight. You know, I mean, you can look at D-tackle, defensive end, outside linebacker, inside linebacker, guard, tight end, fullback, and then all my special teams. So on both sides of the ball, too, right. not even just That's defense. like old school football. Yeah. Right, yeah. Like when they played both sides of the ball, like yeah. in the 40s. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's what I had to do in high school. So I'm just a football player and athlete. And, uh, I mean, it's kind of out of necessity. I had to find my niche in this NFL league, and um, that was my, my way of doing it, being able to be v- very versatile. But Lorenzo, I mean, how does that happen? Does a coach come to you and say, you want to try? Do you go to him and say, I want to play quarterback? <laughs> well, what happens is I was undrafted and uh, I was put on practice squad and I had to play everything, um, you know, as far as showing the offense or showing for, versus the defense. And I was able to show that I was capable of playing certain positions, you know, while going against the ones. And coaches wanted to bounce me around and try me out. Um, and then as I got older in my career, a little bit later and, and solidified, I started running down on special teams. They saw that I could play in space. And they kind of started asking me to move further and further away from the ball. And that's kind of how it happened. And over that time, I lost about, what, 60 pounds when I first got in the NFL. I was about 315. Now I'm about 240. So I had to do that as well during that time. Yeah, you're wasting away over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Size this dude's arm. Well, bro, everybody is monstrous next to you. Well, the, that arm is huge. That's well, the biggest arm it. I've seen out here. <laughs> I don't really- know. Yeah, I know. He's loving me up a little bit. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take asked, it. You already asked what your shoe size was. <laughs> What's the right. biggest sneaker I've ever it's seen? It's a 13. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of sneakers. Tommy, a, is, that, is that where they max out at? 13? <laughs> I've never seen a shoe that big. Bro, I'm it's a right size. Yeah, if you had to uh, interview some of the offensive linemen. I'm telling you, man. Do a do a uh, <laughs> put your foot up on some of them dudes, man. You could crush them. <laughs> those are like those things could crush rocks. <laughs> Lorenzo Alexander, <laughs> Buffalo Bills linebacker, hanging out with us. Lorenzo, you know you bring up you are a special teams guy. Like you make your money on special teams. Right. You made a Pro Bowl on special teams. But everybody, you know, the kids grow up. You you watch the quarterback and the running back and yeah. you know the defensive tackle. What's that like knowing I'm going to go out and do my job and not a lot of people are going to know who I am. Well, I don't think that's true. I mean, I go out there in, in such a fashion where I make a lot of big hits, some big blocks, and um, I think, uh, first of all, the, the team and my they appreciate what I do. I mean, that's what it's all about, winning games, and that's what I go out and do. But if you're good at what you, what you do, people recognize it. They realize it, uh, whether or not the media shows up and talks about you. But when I was in D.C., I mean, everybody knew me for what I did on special teams. And then also my message to the kids is that everybody's not going to be the Sammy Watkins or uh, the Sean McCoys. So you have to figure out what your niche is and play to that role. And then within that team unit, if you're doing your best ability, that's when you have an opportunity to go to the playoffs and win a Super Bowl. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of guys, Lorenzo, don't have the ability to park that pride. Like guys come in, they think they can be a star, and they shoot themselves in the foot. Well, and that happens. It took me, dude. I got undrafted, and I got cut before I really realized, uh uh-oh, well, if I want to live my dream, I need to figure out how I can do that. And right now it's not going to be the the starter on defense, being a defensive tackle. So – I had to, uh, you know, change my mindset, and I, that's why I try to help a lot of young guys realize that I'm not telling you to, to that you can't be a starter in this league, but put that on the back burner right now because certain guys are not going to come out this game because they've already solidified themselves. Give yourself some extra time. Be the best friend with the special teams coach, and I'll give you maybe a year or two extra to develop into that person you want to be on defense or offense. Uh, Lorenzo Alexander, Buffalo Bills linebacker, sitting down in the Stoneyard Brewing Company hot seat. Tommy, I told you, what? he's the most interesting man in the world. Right. One man gang, six positions. You own a Pilates studio, is that true? Yes, we're on the end of that lease, so I, I, I used to own a Pilates studio. Okay. But uh, yeah, I did. That's something I, I did to get in, uh, to shape, you know, just a different way of cross-training. I really uh, enjoyed... Uh, the functionality of it, not having to be, you know, bigger is better, you know, actually leaning up and still keeping the same strength I had when I was an offensive alignment or defense alignment. And that's just all because it comes from your core and powerhouse. And that's one of the real reasons why I loved it. Do a lot of guys do Pilates? 
They actually do. It's really? kind of, yeah, it's more trendy now versus, you know, okay. thinking of it's just for women. Yeah. yeah no, that's yeah, what yeah, I yeah. think in my head. <laughs> right. I don't know any. Yeah, there's a lot of guys yeah. doing it. Well, yeah. it's weird. Like, uh, uh, Corbin Bryant is a defensive tackle here with the Bills. Right. And I was talking to him the other day. He does hot yoga. Right. And he's been doing hot yoga since he was in college. Like, I mean, how does – somebody has to sell you on Pilates. Somebody has to sell you on hot yoga. Like – well, if you see somebody having success, like in my locker room, guys saw saw the transformation from me going from 315 to 240. And they're like, what are you doing? You know, and you still are strong. I'm like, well, I'm doing Pilates. Y'all are more than welcome to come over. And they saw my success and came and did it. I mean, so I think you see somebody succeed, succeed or get better at something that they normally didn't, and you ask them what they're doing differently. So it's more – you're more uh, ready to do it because you see that it, it Plus adds it's up Plus it's spandex. Women yeah. in spandex, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're on, they're on all fours. I mean, it works out in many different directions. I, I, yeah, could sit, I don't think you've never, you have never been in a hot yoga room. I then. could, <laughs> you've never been in there. I could it's, sit there and sweat no, and no, look at some. Yeah, that's the last thing you're thinking about. You can barely breathe in there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I would give it a shot. <laughs> well, let's try it. Well, let's just say, like, Cor- uh, just talk yeah. about Corbin, Bill's right. defensive tackle, the, the hot yoga. Yeah. He was telling me like it's the worst agony he's ever been in. This guy's six foot four, three hundred something pounds, and he's banging into guys the same size he right. says that's the worst experience oh it's hard i mean you're big you, you're not flexible so you're trying to stretch you're doing something outside of your box i mean you pretty much got to strip down and, and it's just this massive heat you thought yesterday was hot i mean you can <laughs> multiply that by two twofold and can't breathe and it's that hard lorenzo alexander bills <laughs> linebacker hanging out with us i told you tommy What's that? most interesting man in the world yeah one man gang six right. positions pilates studio right. hot yoga there's more you just finished nfl broadcasting boot camp yeah, yeah, you give me a lot of love over there too, man. <laughs> well, I, I find it very interesting. I mean, like you know, there are well, a lot. Yeah, it's something I want to do when I'm done. So, um, obviously, I want to put in the work uh, to be able to transition into it. I think sometimes a lot of guys feel like they can just jump into something because they have money or resources or relationships, but do, but lack the skill set to really have longevity in that next career. So, while I've been in the league, I've done a lot of shows like this. I want to put myself next to people that have done it and learn their skill set, learn what they know, so I don't make the same mistakes and then when I transition, it's, it's a lot smoother for me. But what is boot camp like? So uh, how long is it, how long do they do it for? It was a, a three day process. It was at Bowling Green College, um, and and it's just intense. I mean, it's probably the most papers I've written since college. I mean, I probably wrote four or five, you know, columns to blogs to um, you know just different writing styles we did a couple of commentaries so it was a lot of writing within a, a short period of time which i wasn't used to i mean were there guys you seem like you're very you know outgoing well spoken and easy to talk to right were there guys there that you knew like this he, he, he's not gonna make it this ain't gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> no because it, it wasn't it wasn't a radio it was okay. more journal journal so you didn't have to speak that much um so it, it, you really couldn't t- get that sense of it but most of the guys there really had a good time and got a lot out of it Lorenzo Alexander, Pro Bowler, One Man Gang, Pilates Studio owner, soon to be finished. NFL. Broadcaster. Yeah, yeah. That's enough. Yeah, yeah. Renaissance man. It's a full hey. career. Well, that's just it, man. Like you see these guys, like we sit down with some of these guys, and like I do football all day, every day, head in the playbook. That's all I do. Right. It's, it's it's nice to meet guys that understand like this is going to end one day. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I got hit early in my career. I say I think if you haven't really been cut or never been told no, it's not a a, a possibility in your mind, which is fine, but. Realistically, we know that's going to happen, so that's why we try to educate guys as much as we can. All right, Lorenzo Alexander, Bills linebacker. You've been practicing tough all week long. Yes, you got to stay hydrated, man. You have to. And that's why our friends at Invo Coconut Water want to hook you up with a swag bag ah. here. It's got all the essential electrolytes, all that good stuff to keep you taken care of. Uh, inside, a couple of bottles of Invo Coconut Water and a gift card, $50 gift card to uh, Wegmans there. Oh, nice. You are have been forgiven for the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that. My wife would love that $50 gift card. Though. Beautiful. Thanks. Well, no, use it before she gets home. Pittsburgh Wegmans, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, before you get back, go down here. It's the best Wegmans you'll ever go to. All right. I'll uh, check it out. <laughs>